on um, on the lower body. And then we're gonna add in some upper body here too, just to get you a well-rounded uh, workout. The workout itself uh, runs a little bit short. So like I said, we're gonna be adding in a little bit. You're gonna need a mini band if you got it, medium, heavy, maybe light weights too, and then a sturdy bench uh, or a chair is going to come in handy. And of course, if you don't have one, I'll give you an option as you need it. Uh, we got a five minute dynamic warm up here. We'll start with T spine windmills. So, starting off in that tabletop position with your feet, uh, hands out to the sides. We're going to drop those knees to one side, back to center. Really focus here on your core, supporting your middle back. Uh, and we'll go side to side. You can go as far as you can for a minute. Um, then we're going to come up. You've got hip rocks. So, we're going to kick one foot out. Sitting the butt back into the heels, coming back to tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knee under hip, 30 seconds each side. Bear plank to pike, coming back to hands and knees. Just bring the, uh, the knees up, so you're gonna just drive the toes into the floor, going right up into that pike position, coming back down into your bear plank. Okay, any point in time, you can drop to your knees for a little rest. After that, we'll do alternating lateral lunges, stepping out, toes pointed in, make sure the weight shifts back into the heels. And then we'll spend the last minute going for a little bit of jump rope. If you've got a jump rope, you can grab it. Otherwise, just use your invisible one, okay? So five minutes here, you guys can take it down to the floor. Just be nice and gentle with yourself. First exercise of the day. Take it easy, let your body move how it feels it should. We're going in three, two, one, here we go. Again, keeping that belly button pulled in, that lower back supported here. You're going to find your range of motion that works for your body. Got 15 seconds. Go ahead and do one more side, guys, and then come on up. Set yourself up for that hip rock. So one foot out, hands under the shoulders, push back into the heels. We'll adjust that, or I'll adjust that time a little bit, so don't worry if you just started. Feel that stretch, that inner thigh. Keep that belly button pulled in still. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Let's do two more on this side. And you can go ahead and switch. And we'll start the time right now. It'll be a little off. The screen a little off on the time. Go for 10 more seconds on this side. One more rep right here. And then come back to hands and knees, guys. Just come back to hands and knees. Put the toes on the floor. Push up to the knees and then push the hips up, okay? Easiest way to get into a bare plank. You want those knees under the hips. Shoulders away from the ears here. Twenty seconds left. Stand it up. Let's do one more, one more rep, and then you can stand it up. Start off with the lateral lunges, alternating here. Going to toes forward.
that chest lifted, guys. It's not about hinging over to the floor. Chest stays up. About 10 seconds here. We'll get in a couple more on each side. And if you got a jump rope, you can grab it. Otherwise, we're going to pretend here. Now, if you need an option on this, I'm just going to have you do a step out. Do a step and tap here. And then bring your arms if you're doing the step step. In the jump rope, you're keeping those elbows in close to the side of your body. Fifteen seconds here. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, Angela's got her uh, mini band on already. I do not. Okay, six minutes here for block number one. Uh, mid band plank toe tap. So mid band position, guys. I'm not going to waste the time for you uh, to put my mini band on, but you're going to put the band right below your knees. Okay, high plank position, palms under shoulders, shoulders away from the ears. Start with some tension on the mini band. So feet are about hip distance. We're going to tap. Come back to that hip distance uh, with tension on the band. You're going to do 12 total, alternating the taps, holding the plank while you go. Weighted hip bridge. You'll grab probably your heavy weight, dropping your heels beneath your knees, still with the mini band on, still tension between the knees here. We're going to drive up and squeeze it, making sure the knees don't cave in. Coming back down with control, you're going to do 12 reps there. Then we're going to go hip bridge walkout. So we're gonna drive up into the hip bridge. You're gonna walk both feet out, heels down. You can bring your toes up for an added challenge. And then you're gonna walk back in. And that was one rep. You've got 12 of those. You gotta keep that belly button in. That's what's gonna support that lower back. If at any point in time you need to drop your hips, then drive it back up and get back to work, okay? So everything is 12 total here. You got six minutes of work. Let's try to get through at least two rounds. And if you guys need any other options, you could get rid of the band um, or just limit your range of motion. All right, here we go, guys. We're taking off in three, two, one. Let's do it. You guys are probably okay with the orange and red bands. We're just putting one on. Let's try to stay away from that green. Outside of your legs here. Walk out and in. 
Again, heels down, toes up is going to challenge those hamstrings and glutes a little bit more. So you can always option to keep your foot flat or limit your range of motion. here to go so we're more than halfway so hopefully you've moved into block or round number two on that last exercise when you get back to it change your lead so if you always start step up with the right foot switch in step out first with the left and alternate or do six stepping out with one foot and then switch more challenge on that hip ridge you're either going to hold it at the top or bring your feet a little further apart and don't let those knees cave in keep the tension driving slightly outward on those mini bands you're going to feel the activation from the outer glutes a little bit up into the hips last couple here last couple reps and you can take that mini band off y'all and grab your bench or step if you got it again I'll give you an option if you need it we're gonna work that lateral step up with power so this block kind of looks like it would be a uh, a, tre well, a couple of these blocks today look like they'd be treadmill blocks but they're um, they actually rep counted out so you get, get to work at your own pace, okay? So we're gonna go lateral step up with power. So you wanna stand to the side of your bench step or chair. We're gonna put one foot on and then we're gonna drive the other foot, getting a little hop. You can step all the way off for a little added challenge or you can keep one foot on 
and just drive the power. Now, if you don't have a bench step or chair that's going to work, you're going to work the reverse lunge to hop, okay, or knee drive. You got eight on each leg. You got 16 total on the speed skaters. Go for a nice big lateral jump side to side. You've got eight froggers, toes pointed away, butt down, chest lifted, trying to get the fingertips to the floor. You're gonna come up with some explosiveness. Option, come up to the calf raise. Then you're gonna finish off the block with some skier swing. Shoulders back, hinge at the hips. Use the hips and glutes to drive the weights to shoulder height. Get some uh, little momentum going on that one for 16 reps. Take your breathers between the exercises, guys. You wanna be as explosive as you can on these power exercises, okay? For, uh, speed skaters going for a little more of uh, distance. Again, like I said, more distance than, uh, than speed on that one, all right? You guys, anything else, let me know. Here we go in three, two, one, let's do it. Definitely gonna get your heart rate up on this block. Get through your rep count, then 
take your breather. That is good stuff. Feeling it today. Wow. Hip hinge, hip hinge on that skier swing. body coming at you. We're going to use that bench still. If you don't have it, don't worry. I'll give you an option. We've got 10 minutes of work here. It's another block that kind of is going to feel like um, it would be a treadmill block in terms of one exercise to the next, but we're going at your own pace. Bulgarian split squat, friends. Start with your feet at your platform. Heel, toe, one, two, three. Pop that foot back. Drop that back knee, drive up through that front heel. You don't have a bench or step that's gonna work. You're gonna take that split stance, focus on dropping the back knee, driving up. You don't have to tap the knee, 
but that's what your thought process is, dropping the back knee versus lunging forward. Then grabbing the heaviest weight you can. You got 10 reps on a deadlift, shoulders back. We're working tempo, so three counts down. Pause for one, pull up. Not back, just pull up, okay? When you pull up, tighten the glutes. Pull the belly button in, squeeze it all, and then do it again. You got 10 of those. Curtsy lunge to a oh, lateral lunge to curtsy lunge. Probably gonna screw this up just so you know. We're gonna step out to the lateral lunge. Nope, I'm not. And back into the curtsy lunge. I didn't screw it up. So it doesn't matter which side you start with, but it's lateral lunge, curtsy lunge. Lateral lunge, reverse lunge will be the option. You're gonna do 10 on the left side, 10 on the right side. Pulsing one and a half sumo squat, toes pointed away, drop it down halfway. We did this on Saturday, guys. We did this on Saturday. Pulsing one and a half sumo squat. You'll stand up every time. So you're not gonna just stay pulsing. You're gonna come back up. Then you're gonna hold that squat for that oblique crunch. Keep your chest up. Pull your belly button in. Bring the elbow towards the knee. A lot of work in this block, guys. Everything's 10 reps. We're going for 10 minutes. Uh, so you just can work at your own pace. I would try to get through two rounds here, all right? If you start round three, uh, I don't know, slow down your tempo, make it a little harder, one, two, grab some three, weights, here we go, in three, two, me, one. Let's squat, friends, let squat. In between, one, two, three, apart, make sure you've got your balance. Make sure you add weights on this one. I would maybe go through the whole block before you add in any extra. on that one. Yeah, you want to do the lunge and the curtsy lunge to kind of compress. Okay.
I guess it is the green map. Guys, I can just get down on that one. I go from the bottom to the middle ten times. Okay? I'm not gonna stand up. I did do these on Saturday. Think about squeezing those butt cheeks. guys to make it count. Freak when I 
I'm talking to myself, but it's like I was too weak to be someone else. Good thing that I'm a creep when I'm singing all alone, but it's like I couldn't see straight on. All right. Like I said, we're going for a full hour today, okay? So our next block, we're gonna work upper body. Um, and then we're gonna do a little core uh, cardio to finish it off. So this block is 10 minutes. And then, yeah, we're gonna do a little Tabata hit right before we go. Um, five exercises in this block. Like I said, upper body here, friends. A Little bit of lower, but more focus on the upper. So using your bench step or chair, don't worry, I'll give you an option. Put your hands right beneath your booty, shoulders are back, scoot your butt off. You got tricep dips off the chair. Now as an option, use a couple of those weights, hip hinge, tricep kickback, okay? You got 12 reps. Lateral lunge to balance bicep curl. Focusing a little more on the bicep curl than the lunge. You're gonna do that lunge again. You're gonna come up, drive the knee up. You got a curl, okay? Now your option here is to pause in the middle, but I want you to try to get from the lunge, pull the knee up, find your balance, and then curl. All right, so we're gonna do six on each leg. Overhead tricep extension is next. Elbows are in, shoulders are down. We're gonna drop that weight down behind your neck, and you're gonna drive it up and squeeze at the top for 12 reps. Then we're gonna go into a sumo squat position. So yeah, now we're not totally away from the legs yet. Feet are out wide, shoulders are back, keeping the elbows in. Now, worst case scenario, if your legs are toast, you're gonna stand up, set position, shoulders back, work a hammer curl, keeping the elbows close. Your fifth and final exercise is that side plank pendulum. Stack into your side plank. We're gonna bring the foot just in front of and then just behind that bottom leg. Option, lower knee is down, pull the belly button in, and you're shifting through your hip here. Okay, so six total, forwards and backwards is one. You're gonna do six on each side. Get a little more strength in today, and then we'll get some cardio. Cool? Here we go, friends. We are taking off for those tricep dips in three, two, one, let's go. Again, shoulders back, chest lifted here. Well, 
in. If you feel yourself uh, rushing through the pendulums, friends, please drop that lower knee. Okay. Just a little bit. That bottom hip up. Less strength is better.
fine on the sumo squat. So you you got me feeling. You got me feeling all right. Whenever I'm around you, baby. Keep going, keep going here. If you're not doing the lateral lunges, at least doing the bicep curls. We only got 15 seconds. block four minutes of work this is going to be tabata style there's no block for this there's no uh screen for this i'm just going to put up some some other random random thing um you have two exercises you have jumping jacks okay and you have running man and you can use your bench for the running man jumping jacks you guys know we're going to go for 20 seconds palms under shoulders we drive the knee in we're going at a quitty pretty quick Pace. We're going to go for 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Four minutes means we got four rounds. This is how we're going to finish. Look, everyone's dropping like flies. They're like, I'm out. Y'all are ready. I love it. Okay, here we go. Here comes your screen. Just a random screen. We're going together. Okay, starting off with jumping jacks. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Waste of time, but will be tempo for Just yourself. You're off here. No jump, you. right? No, five I seconds. Every night, Three, two, one, rest. Don't you worry, All right, you set yourself up on that bench or the floor. Ready, man? Three, two, one. On top of your hand, halfway. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back to jumping jacks. Here we go. In four, three, two, one. This is round two. From the bench to the floor. Here we go. In three, I just can't let two, you go. One, come on. Lord Drive knows that in. I've tried to. You said I was the only one. Faster, slow, just keep. No going. one likes being like Halfway. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Five seconds. Three, two. 
now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Halfway, guys. Two rounds down. We got three to go. Here we go. Back to jumping jacks. Three, two, one. Come on. stretch let's switch up this stretch here so take it out to the side hips back keep breathing here so hopefully that got your heart rate up a little to finish if not in the orange at least back up in the green good strength day today switch sides full body today you got a little bit of everything so your body should just be kind of humming right now Make sure you refuel. Good breakfast, protein shake. Get outside today. Reply to that my email for Saturday. We're going at eight in Osage Park. Hands in the middle here. It's just a workout, guys. Don't talk yourself out of it, okay? Just a workout. Going at your own pace like any other workout. Walk your feet in just a little bit. Drop your butt down. Nice deep hip stretch here. Uh, if you didn't get the email, let me know. I'll send it to you with the details. We're going to take a deep breath in. Come in all the way up. Reach it up. Grab a wrist. Exhale as you pull it over to one side. Come back to center, other side, pulling over the other wrist. Hands back to center, up, elbows out, chest open. Bring those elbows back here. You can bring your neck up or your neck down, or you can do a little bit of both, side to side. You can feel it differently on the stretch. Bring the elbows down, big shoulder roll here. One arm up, shoulder down, little tricep stretch. So I know Alameda County just announced yesterday that they're gonna open 
uh, gyms at 10% capacity. The city of Livermore, however, I don't know if there's any Livermore people on here. Go ahead and switch sides. City of Livermore is now saying that is 10% of your class capacity, which is worse uh, than our building capacity. So if they keep that up, we're not going until we get to 50% because 25% of 24 or 26 is still about four or five people. So um, I don't know who's making these rules. I don't know why they keep changing them, but that was the, uh, that was the scuttle from yesterday. Release that elbow, bring those arms down, shake it off, feet wide. Take a deep breath in, all the way up. Lean it back, belly stretch. Guys, it's a great day. Make it even better. Get outside, get some fresh air. Have a good one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for staying on. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I hope to see you guys all on Friday. But we'll be back here uh, Friday, 6.15, and then Saturday, 8 a.m. See ya. Thanks, Becky. Thank you, Elaine. Have a great day.